Hey guys, what is up? My name is Julia and today I am finally going to be filming the long-awaited dorm tour. So it's currently October 9th and I moved into college September 2nd, so I'm a little bit late on this to say the least, but I figured that you guys still wanted to see it considering how many of you guys subscribe to this channel because of like productive college school content. So yeah, um... Here we go! So here's just kind of an overview of our dorm. As you can see, they're pretty decently sized. And also, for some more context, I'm a current freshman at Brown University, and I'm living in the dorm Keeney. Keeney actually houses, I think, over a third of the whole entire freshman class at Brown. So uh, I would definitely say that this is the most densely populated area of freshmen that you're going to find on campus. And really quickly, before we get into the in-depth dorm tour, I just wanted to say I'm going to be including kind of like a dorm tour, but like of the entire dorm. Just kind of showing you around my entire dorm building, what the communal bathrooms look like, how my experience has been with that, just kind of talking about it a little bit because I know especially as an incoming freshman, I really search for these types of videos on YouTube and I feel like they could be really helpful. So yeah, stay tuned for that if you are interested. Starting on the outside of my dorm, on the right side of my door, there is this little brown gymnastics cutout. The brown gymnastics captains actually came by on the first or second day and dropped these off at each of our dorms. They are just so adorable and like, oh, the detail is amazing. Moving on to my physical door, we have name tags and pictures of former brown alum. Our RPLs put those up for us. The RPL is basically just an upperclassman that lives in our dorm and regulates everything that goes on in our floor to make sure that everyone's following the rules. So yeah, I think that's pretty much everything on the outside of my dorm. Now it's time to show you the inside. All right, so first of all, here is this lovely door. This is the door I basically just showed you. My roommate Josie brought this lovely mirror and it is so useful when we're trying to check out our fits in the morning. Anyways, turning directly around, our rooms are basically mirrored. This is my roommate Josie's side. Her side is so adorable and I also love that our aesthetics line up pretty well because it makes the room kind of mesh together a little bit better. Josie is honestly the sweetest roommate ever and I got so lucky to get her as my roommate. We get along so well and it's just like the perfect scenario. All right, so now for my side. We just have a beautiful trash can that I brought from home. Josie is actually using the trash cans that came with the dorm but I'm using a different one I think mainly because this one's just bigger and I did not feel like having to take the trash out that frequently right here we have my beautiful closet and shelves I will give you guys a full tour so the closets are actually massive but I only use part of it because this little gap to get back into the closet is so narrow that it's just impossible to get to any of your clothes and it just frustrates me so I just don't use that part of my closet but the closets are very big I use the floor space a lot as you can see I just have a lot of like miscellaneous items down here and we also have these two really long shelves that extend all the way to the back of the closet. Up here on the top shelf, I just have a lot of cleaning supplies. I have my electric kettle, my heating fan, vacuum, two packs of disinfectant wipes, trash bags, and paper towels. And then down here, I have two separate shower caddies. So I have the one that I physically take into the shower with me, and then a different one that I just kind of take into the bathroom with me at night when I want to brush my teeth and wash my face. I have all of my jeans, pants, shorts, and sweatshirts all stacked up in here. And then down here, I just have have the easily wrinkleable clothes and my zip up hoodies. I just use this part as my towel rack. So originally I had a command hook up here, but it fell down in two days. So I was like, uh, screw that. We're just gonna put it up here. And this works perfectly fine. So honestly would highly recommend. Moving down, we just have my two laundry hampers. I have one for whites, one for darks. And then I just have my laundry detergent and shout chilling down there. I got shower shoes. And then I'd like to note this to all incoming freshmen. Be sure to put your shower caddy if you're putting it on the ground, make sure to put it on top of a plastic bag. So it doesn't stain the floors because they will surely charge you for that at the end of the year. And then up here, I just have a command hook with some extra masks. So now that we're done with my closet, I guess we'll move on to my bedside shelves. These are super fun. I had a really fun time decorating these actually. So this little basket just kind of has all my different hair supplies that I need and this little brown flag that I got during convocation. And then right here, I just got two little brown hats because you know, why not? And then a charger because it is really great to wake up with a fully charged phone in the morning. And then on the second shelf, we just have my makeup caddy or like storage container, my JBL speaker and my glasses because at night I kind of get reading fatigue and my eyes get dried out with my contacts. So having glasses is really convenient. And then I have two pictures of my fam, just my sister and I, and then my grandparents, my mom, my dad, and my sister. And up here, I just have three more hats. I honestly don't wear them that much, but they're just fun to have. And I do have a second gray basket just kind of like balance out my shelves but there's nothing in there as of now. Moving on to my bed. So first we have this little cylinder pillow, sushi plush that my sister got for me a couple birthdays ago, and a brown bear. We got the gray duvet cover, the fluffiest pink Ugg pillow that I've ever felt in my life. This is my like favorite pillow ever. It's so soft. And this back pillow that I use for homework 
Occasionally, I, I don't really do homework in my bed that often because I fall asleep, but it's there for when I ever need it. And then at the end of my bed, I have a white sham, which I really like because I feel like it balances the gray out really well. Above my bed, all these photos are kind of hard to see because of the glare. I just have a photo collage of all my friends and family from home. And then next to that, I have this glasses display. This is kind of like my hat display. I really have not worn these, but I love them for decor. So I guess now I'll show you guys my under bed storage. I bumped my bed all the way up to the top notch so I could have as much storage room as possible and it worked out really, really well. First, we have a miscellaneous drawer, just kind of like my lounge comfy outfits. And then down here, I just kind of have more fun, colorful, like fancy tops. Moving to the left, we just have more casual, neutral colored tank tops and shirts. Here, I have my athletic clothes for gym and practice. And then right here, I have my face cloths, sheets, and towels. Oh, and right here, I have a retractable clothing rack for my laundry. Down here, I just have my very excessive collection of shoes. If you guys were wondering, here is my really lovely rug. It's honestly perfect because it fits the length of the whole bed. And I also have this really cute ottoman. Also, Josie has a little ottoman, a glitter ottoman, which is a fan fave. Okay, moving on to my desk area. This is just a picture of my sister giving me a thumbs up and I have it taped above my desk just kind of for some motivation. <laughs> I just have a box of tissues in my mirror. I really didn't know where to hide these cables and they're honestly an eyesore, but it's fine. I've gotten used to it. My desk has three drawers ranging in three different sizes. In the top drawer, eh, I just kind of have a bunch of miscellaneous items. This second drawer is also kind of miscellaneous. I mean, what, what is going on here? We have an outlet with like seven different extension cords. We have another extension cord for my outlet. We have like 10 rolls of tape, a calculator, and a pencil case. I just, I don't know what's going on in there. And then down here, we have my tech drawer. Up here on my desk is typically where I store my school laptop, my iPad, and my jewelry. And look how cute these are. I went to this RISD art fair today, and these are like concrete earrings, which I purchased today, and they are the most adorable pieces of jewelry ever. Then I just have my lamp and this really nifty phone stands. Let me show you guys. I literally always place my phone right here when I FaceTime people and it's so convenient. Anyway, moving on. Here we just have my jewelry stand with necklaces and bracelets and my perfume. Oh, and then we got my windowsill. I don't know what this is. This is like a Wi-Fi router or something. I don't know what it does, but it's literally stuck onto my windowsill. We got some festive pumpkins in a sunflower. We want apple picking today and that's what I, that's what I got. That's what I came home with. <laughs> this is my window. My view is actually pretty nice. It just kind of like looks out onto the street and there's a little bit of greenery out there. I got my fan. Every time I put this stupid fan away, I need to pull it out again because it gets too hot in my dorm. New England weather still confuses me and I grew up here. Like it's either 40 degrees or it's 70 degrees and I'm sweating. So I just, I don't understand. We got my snack cart with all my favorite things in it. And then we have more storage. So honestly, there is like plenty of room for storage, especially with Keeney furniture. I know some of the other dorms don't get nearly as much stuff. So I'm really grateful for this because I brought a lot of crap. Um, up here, we just have the two most random items ever. We have my Apple Watch charging and men's deodorant. Over here, we just have paper towels, disinfectant wipes and hand sanitizer, my mask, and my school ID. We also have a massive water jug so I can fill up my water every single morning. On the top drawer, I just kind of store all of my athletic bottoms. This drawer I am by far the most proud of just because it is the most aesthetically pleasing, but that is my undergarments drawer. And finally, down here, we got all of my fall slash winter sweaters and a first aid kit with my vitamins and stuff. And then finally, we just have our micro fridge, which is like a microwave and fridge combined. Oh, in here, <laughs> this is just the epitome of college. We got empty ice trays and frozen grapes. I was surprised with how cold the fridge gets because I literally froze my hummus the other day and I was like so upset about it. I had to like scrape it out of the container. Anyways. That's all you gotta see. So this is what the outside of Keeney looks like. I mean, I wouldn't say it's anything special. It just kind of looks like your average dorm building. We have these really nice common areas in between the quads of the dorm, which are kind of filled with grass, trees, and just a lot of shrubbery. And there's multiple different entrances to the different quads of the dorm. We have three different quads. We have Archibald Bronson, James and Mead, and Everett Poland. I'm an Archibald Bronson, and each quad is kind of distinguished through different colors. So I'm red, Everett Poland is yellow, and James and Mead is blue. We actually have pretty decent lounges in Keeney. They're all located on the fourth floor, and I think there's two different lounges. They have little kitchenettes in them and like common seating areas and TVs. It's really, really nice. And for the communal bathrooms, they're really not that bad. They do get a little bit bad towards the end of the week before they go in and clean them, but that's only for like a day at most. And that's also bound to happen when you're sharing a bathroom with dozens of people. I mean, they're communal bathrooms. You just kind of have to take it for what it is, but I will say that the water gets very, very hot in the showers, which I appreciate. Here's what the laundry rooms look like, and here's what the trash room looks like. I don't know. It's pretty standard. The trash room is surprisingly clean 
and the laundry room is surprisingly dirty sometimes, so a little bit of a contrast there. But honestly, this past month of college has been absolutely amazing. I will admit it has been a huge adjustment phase, but I feel like that goes for any incoming freshman in college. I feel like I've finally established a schedule. I finally acclimated to the gym and the new gym schedule and lift. I've never done lift in my life before I came here, but I finally feel like I've gotten used to that. I love the independence here and just the resources that are available to everyone is amazing. And also the community here. I could talk about the community for like hours. It's insane. It's just such an amazing support system. And honestly, that's what I would say makes a school so special is like the community and the people within it. Oh my gosh, I... Don't even get me started because I won't stop. But yeah, I think that pretty much concludes my dorm tour and life update. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a super fun time filming it and I just want to apologize that it was delayed. I hope you guys understand the kind of time gap in between my uploading schedule now. It's kind of inconsistent, but I'm trying my best. I think now that I've established more of a solid routine, I might be able to upload more, but we will see because midterms are coming up and before you know it, finals are gonna be here and obviously I need to prioritize school because that's why I'm here. <laughs> but filmmaking and making YouTube videos is also my passion, so I'm gonna try my best to balance everything. I hope you guys can be patient with me and I'm super excited to be able to film a productive day in the life at college soon. I promise it'll be coming soon. Just I, I don't have the exact date yet but it will be coming soon and you guys are going to be able to meet all my friends. My friends are so awesome and it's just I'm in love with the school and I'm in love with the people here and everything that I do here. It's the best. But anyway, much love for all of my friends that are in college or in high school or even in middle school. I hope you guys are having a great school year so far and I hope you're being safe and smart. I love you guys so much and I'll be sure to see you all very, very soon. Bye guys.